Coming up on News Channel 5 at 10, a 5K this morning honoring our local heroes. We have a look at the race and who the community is rallying behind. Plus, the annual farmer's market has kicked off in the capital city, but this year it has a new location where you can shop coming up on your station. From the capital of Wyoming, this is News Channel 5, news this weekend. The Big Latch On, it's an event that almost 10,000 women are participating in globally. Good evening, I'm Tiffany Logan. And I'm Catherine Chloe Cahoon. Thanks for joining us. Its focus is to encourage and support breastfeeding moms. CBS News Channel 5's Ruth Kamada shares what new mothers have to say about their experience. I came out here um, just to support fellow breastfeeding mothers in the community. We'll start right off. We're following a developing story tonight. An autopsy has been scheduled for tomorrow to determine the cause of death of a 21-year-old woman. Police are investigating the death as a homicide and have identified the suspect. CBS News Channel 5's Mariah Ellis is here with more details on who police are looking for. Yes, Aaron, please say an autopsy is planned for tomorrow, where we hope to have more of the details of this ongoing investigation. The CPD arrived to the scene earlier today where they found the body of a young woman at an, the Anong's restaurant at 620 Central Avenue. Police are searching for this man in connection with her death. They say 57-year-old Amigdio Lara of Cheyenne is described as having blue eyes, brown hair, is 5'10 and 200 pounds. American Red Cross in Colorado and Wyoming responds to calls on average two to three times a day. In the month of July, 110 people were helped by Red Cross. Of those 110, 23 were here in Wyoming. There were seven people under the age of 18. The oldest person assisted in Wyoming was 84. Rollins is planning to build a community fishing lake. Carbon County Commissioners have agreed to donate 15 acres of land for the project and the Wyoming Game and Fish Department will stock the lake with fish. This was the site on Highway 85 earlier this afternoon. This video was shot by Daryl Orr, who was out when a tornado touched down. This was near Ranchettes. In all today, there were at least 17 confirmed reports of tornadoes in southeast Wyoming. Jenna Jackson joins us now live from the legislative session with a look at how this bill would work. Jenna. Good evening, Aaron and Brittany. Well, right now, if you're an able-bodied veteran and you apply for a public job, you get a 5% preference. Now, if you're a disabled veteran, you get a 10% preference. But lawmakers want to open that up to any veteran wanting to work in Wyoming. Now, just well, turning now to our Frontier Days coverage, it's the final weekend for Frontier Week and News Channel 5's Brittany Carter and Guy Brown are at Frontier Park with a better look at the day's festivities. Brittany? Well, we are certainly here in the home stretch of Frontier Days, but there is still a lot to do this weekend. We'll get to all that in just a minute. But first, Guy Brown, he's joining us here. We have some storms coming in, Guy. Yeah, that's right. We definitely have uh, some possible storms heading in. Uh, let's take a look at the Almanac page. Today, we did see a high of 88, low of 59 degrees. but. As you take a look, as we take a look to our south and west, we do have a pretty significant cell to our south and west of Cheyenne. Now it is traveling to the uh, northwest, so it looks like it's possible it could potentially clip us here on the back end. Mm -hmm. We actually do have an interview with one of tonight's concerts mm -hmm. um, musicians, so let's go ahead and send it out to Frontier Park where Catherine Chloe Cahoon is. We're here with Casey Donahue, and he's actually opening for Jason Aldean tonight at CFD at 8 o'clock. I understand this is your first time performing at CFD. Yeah, this is our uh, it's our first time to be out here at the, at the rodeo. We're excited to perform before. Uh, off our very first record, we have a song called Stockyards, which uh, still seems like it's a fan favorite, and it's really a general song about Fort Worth, but it seems to be one of those songs that I think people connect to in every hometown. They have that, that feeling of uh, going back to where it all started when they uh, got out of the rebellious youth. What's your favorite part about CFD? Oh, this is, uh, this is unbelievable. I'm a rodeo fan. I, uh, I grew up on a dairy and uh, used to try to team rope a little bit. Still team rope when I get a day. News Channel 5 Sports. 
The AA is a little less sacred now. The Wyoming basketball team snapped its 10-game home unbeaten streak. Over the weekend, Cowboys fell to 2-3 and three in the Mountain West after a 14-point loss to Nevada on Saturday. It was a struggle for open looks as the Cowboys shot just 20 of 61 from the field. Didn't help that the Wolfpack's Marcus Marshall tied a season high with 32 points on the evening. Finally to Saddlebronk, local product here, Brody Crest. Great rides all week. Nate needed an 85 or better to take home the championship. And oh my word, rides his horse to an 88 and a half. The former East Thunderbird now becomes the first Wyoming Saddle Bronc winner at CFD since Craig Latham all the way back in 1995. After the ride, Cress talked about his emotions. It's awesome. I've been coming to this rodeo since I was a little kid and I've always dreamed of winning it. And it, it was awesome to be able to go out there and do that in front of family and friends and everybody that knows me. It was fun. It's the best one I've ever won, I think, but I gotta, I gotta keep going. You know, I've gotta, you gotta win a lot of money to be able to make it to the final. So I can't stop or relax. I gotta keep going. All right, that oh, is man. it for us tonight. We hope you have a great night, Cheyenne. We'll see you back here tomorrow. I want to be a fireman now. He was looking like <laughs> plowing through the water.